All right, so I'm the president of a dance club, and Clementine is my favorite media player for practice. And there's a couple reasons why. It's based off of Amarok 1.4, which was my favorite media player a long time ago. Um, it's since gone to version 2, and I'm not too happy about that, but I'm glad Clementine is here to pick up the slack. So why do I like it so much? Let's take a look really quick. This is Amarok, or uh, Clementine right here. Notice in the bottom right hand area, there's colors here. These colors correspond to what the music sounds like. So you can see in this song, which is called Sachihoko, a bit of yellow there, some magenta stuff here, some green stuff here, and a big black part here, and some more, more yellow stuff here. And that corresponds to what the song kind of sounds like. So if you come here, at the beginning of the song, Sounds like that. Yellow part. Here, into the yellow. A little bit of a change there, okay? What does this magenta part sound like? That's well, a bit more subdued. And that goes into this transition here eventually. Okay, that's the big one right there. Look at that. We go from magenta to this orangey color here. Let's hear, hear that again. Okay, yeah, that's a big transition point right there in the song. Let's get a little bit more context in that. And often I find when I'm doing dancing, I have to repeat a certain section over and over again, and it can be kind of hard to remember exactly, you know, does that happen at 1 minute 6 or does that happen later on? Let me see if I can zoom in on that section of the screen really quick. All right. And yeah, so it's hard to tell if it's, you know, does that happen at one minute, six seconds, or it's hard to remember. But these colors kind of help because they, they demarcate the transitions. What's this black part right here? Let's hear that in context. <laughs> Similar transition to the one we had over here. Now, look at this big dark area. I'm going to take a guess and say that's the slow section of the song. So let's hear a little bit leading up into that. Oh, look at that. Now if I say I want to practice the slow section, I don't have to listen to, you know, the entire song or hit parts here and there and try and figure out where it is. I can see where it is right there. Then it brightens up again over here, you can see. So let's hear that transition into the slow part back into the main part. That's so useful. Plus, um, you know, maybe I want to play a song and have the, the player stop at the end of it. And it's, I have trouble finding that feature on a lot of modern media players, but on this one, I can just click stop after each track. So when I come to the end of the song, it goes to the end and it stops. Done playing. That's so useful. I I love using Clementine for dance practice. <laughs>